What is up, family? Hi, fam. We're here now in a community park. Yeah. Near in uh, Bay the, Point. Yeah, near near a place, the place we stay, and we are about to discuss something about the history, and <laughs> we can smell marijuana right now. <laughs> Because no, it's marijuana. legal. Uh, legal kasi. Yeah. So anyway. Mama <laughs> heaven tired dito. Let's continue before we get high. So anyway. Okay. So, paano ba kami nagkabisa? Mga yeah. kababayan namin. Alam ko madami sa inyo ang nagse-search kung paano kayo magkakaroon. Madaming kinakabahan, madaming hindi na rin nabigyan at naghahanap pa rin ng tips on how to get that US tourist visa. visa. So, kwento mo din namin how we got B1, ours. Ay, ano yun? HB? Visa ba? It's B1, B2. B1, B2 visa. Tourist business. So, it's okay. the it's the visa that is usually being given to a tourist. No matter if you are he gonna be here for uh, for uh, pleasure or for business. remember it correctly it was October 2008 so it was 11 years ago I I was given a visa kasi ang reason ko is I had a training here in the United States so basically the company that I was in sponsored. sort of sponsored yeah. me yeah so it was easy for me kasi unang take pa lang, unang application pa lang, I was already given my own uh, tourist visa. Kasi yung kasama ko, unfortunately, hindi siya nabigyan. But the second time she applied, nabigyan naman din siya. We don't know the rules that the consul set for it. Hindi namin alam kung it's just a feeling that they, that they have or we really don't know what kind of reasons or reasoning that they um, do or think about but for me I remember I was asked four questions um, how long will I be here why am I gonna be here uh, the two other questions I really forgot but it's mostly about uh, my trip here and it was you know it was a simple answer I I was gonna be here because of a training that is sponsored by the company. It's that simple. I remember I wore or sinuot ko lang yung color uh, lilac na blouse na medyo three-fourths. You don't Natatanda really... Natatanda mo pa yun. Yeah, natanda ko pa yun. And I also remember na may singaw pa ako sa lips noon. Grabe talaga. Kasi sobrang hirap akong magsalita. But you know, um, Yan, nagkaroon ako ng visa. I was so elated kasi it was my dream to go here. It was 10 years. Yeah. Multiple entry. Diba? It was 10 years multiple entry and then uh, so my visa got expired last year. Uh, nag reapply ako let nag renew ako through Dropbox but they didn't allow it. They had to require me to mm -hmm. go to the embassy kasi nag-change an name ako. Again. Yeah, an interview again. And that interview was much longer. I have a transcript of that. We're gonna share that in another video so that you will know how I answered um, back then sa consul. Now, so it's a different story with Ian. Uh, he tried to get a visa kasi kasal ng cousin ko. And the other reason also is uh, 40... Ano, graduation muna ng uh, ito namin sa kanyang master's degree and then the second reason was the uh, wedding of my cousin. So, go ahead, man. So, yun, before I continue, na heaven ako. Ang lasso ang magna-chonky dito. <laughs> okay. Hi, we're a bit high. So, back 2010, yun yung first application ko ng US uh, tourist visa. So, uh, I think it was around Feb. Okay, Kasi yun. ang trip natin dapat dito was June. So as early as that, you were trying to get a US visa. So I prepared everything, papers, yung sa work, sa pera, sa banko, bank statement, everything. Yung mga alam natin na pinaprepare, uh, kapal nung dala kong papers. Then, come the day of interview. So, uh, syempre, kabado ang kabado, then... I was at Starbucks across uh, the embassy. Since 
si wife may USB siya na relax na siya sa Starbucks ako naman kabang ka ba? Yo relax ah ang nakabahan din ako ah <laughs> syempre yun. gusto ko kasama ka very organized tanda ko no tapos syempre kinakabahan ka tapos pag ang bilis lang eh parang within within 30 minutes tapos na lahat eh so sa, sa console na uh, tanong sa akin reason bakit pupunta ng US? So, sinabi ko yung rason. Attend ng graduation. graduation. Oh, attend ng graduation. So, after that, ang next naman na tanong sa akin yata is uh, yung work ko. Anong work ko? Ang ginagawa ko dito? So, sinabi ko, nag-work ako sa factory, semiconductor factory, then position ko. Then, next question, Puro tungkol na sa pera, as in pera And ako naman, hindi ako nagsinungaling So magkano sweldo mo? Saan ko? 30 mil? Then <laughs> siyempre English Around 30,000 monthly plus benefit Yan ang ganon Then, Tapos magkano pera sa bangko? Pero siyempre pinakita ko lang Baka Hindi ko matandaan, baka 100,000 Wala pa 100,000 or ganon May pera tayo nun? <laughs> I can't remember. Siguro mag... Ano yun? Wala pa 100,000. Anas naman ako eh. Hindi ako nag... Yung iba, naririnig ko, nagpapagawa pang fake na bank statement. Bank eh, statement, yeah. Pero since ano, ayaw ko nang ganun. Di... You have integrity and you are honest. Yes. Ayun. Sa madaling salita, denied. Ang sasabi Pero, niya. Pero, ba sa'yo who will, ano, sponsor your trip? Wala, no? Wala. I yeah. think they assumed na siya yung mag-sponsor. But, in reality, Uncle dapat namin yung mga sponsor din. So, it was left out. So, so sa kapal-kapal na dinala kong papel, wala man lang tinignan yata kahit isa. Ganun lang. Tapos, $120 in just, what? 5 minutes? $120 lang ba nun? Mga tingin ko mga ganun. Eh. 100 ano na nun? 40, 160 na rin. Yung mga sumunod ko na. Diba? Tapos siya mababa ng una. Tapos yung sumunod na $140. Ayun. Nawala sa iglo sa club. So, siyempre, yung lungkot. Then, yun, next, uh, next interview ko naman, 2011 na siguro yun, no? I think, um, I think, ano, hindi, mga two months yata before the trip, mga bandang, kung Feb yung una, so, I think, mga ano yun? Mga April, May, kasi we were really trying na makasama siya dun sa... Uh, uh, graduation ni Tito Phil. I think the same thing happened. I was in oh. Starbucks again. I was sort of relaxing na kinakabahan na hindi ko maintindihan. So, mas, okay. The same process. Pero pa rin. Alam, uh, nag-iba lang yung presyo. Siguro $145 na yun per Yata sila application. Nakikini. So, grabe no. Ang laki ng kinikita ng US Embassy sa interview pa lang. Kasi, daily libo yata yung nag-apply dun. Tapos, ilan lang yung nagbibigay ng visa. Anyways. So, same process. Ang bilis-bilis. Nagpasok ko ron, tinignan lang yung papel ko tas sa computer. Siguro, nakita nila uh, yung application ko na medyo recently lang. Tapos, may tinanong lang, ano pinagkaya ba nung application mo dati sa ngayon? Sinabi ko, yung status ko pala, parang sa work or sa finances ganun. Don't parang you. parang tungkol na naman sa pera ang kanilang tanong. So, ako honest na naman yung sagot ko. Wala, ganun pa rin naman. Siguro nagkaroon lang increase konti sa office ganun. So, in 3 minutes denied na naman. Denied. Ah, nako honest to goodness, gusto so, ko lang butasin yung gulong so, ng console. Oh, parang nababatri pa ako, parang nasa isip ko. Parang naman magtitiin din sa US eh ganda-ganda sa Pilipinas no. May gasoline boy nga kami dito, kayo wala eh. Ano nga? Tapos ganda-ganda kaya nung probinsya na Amdi. Anyway, ako natuloy ako sa US without him for almost hmm. 3 months and it was a very sad 3 months. Saan so, din mo rin masisisi mga consul kasi uh, sorry, talagang maraming undocumented. Hindi lang Pilipino, maraming undocumented. Yeah, all na, citizens na of the world are undo un mm. undocumented here. Lalo na yung tatakbo lang US na, di ba? So, yun. And third time ko na... Ano ba yun? 
um, kasal yata, oh, yeah. kasal na ng cousin ko. Same year ko, din eh. na ba? Same year ba the following year? Oh, the following year. The following year, yeah. I think. Yeah. Tanda ko naman, nag, ano eh. Ito yata, nag, napuno ko yung alkansya ko, binuksan ko. Kasi, $160 na yata yan eh. Oo. So, magkano rin yan, mga family, di ba? Hindi biro yung amount na ibabayad mo kung $160. Tapos, walang guarantee na mabibigyan ka ng visa. Yeah. Yung cousin ko na yun kasi, umuwi siya nung kasal namin. Mm-hmm. And so, I think it was just proper also, you know, to so go invite, din sa yeah. wedding niya. Kasi siya yung closest uh, guy cousin ko that time. So, anyway, go ahead. Yun nga, uh, yung pinag-ipunan ko pa yung pag-apply, then very same process. Tapos, yung interview, gano'n pa rin. Lagi, parang may pattern sila, you know? What's your purpose? When are you going to America? Hindi ka magsistay. Hindi ka magsistay. Ganawa ka tagal. So, yun. And I brought a lot of documents again. And still, strikes three. <laughs> Denied na naman. Wala na namang social, uh, economic reason to... Ayun. Wala na naman mga social, oh economic God. tools. To stay in America. What, what color of pay? Ano color na paper niyo? Color green niya tayo. So, to continue, since you know we're in the park and we, ano, kumitingin na yung mga bata. Yeah. To continue, so after sa so strike strike three, denied them. <laughs> na denied na naman ako pangatlo, again. so I donated the do, alas four hundred dollars to the embassy, U.S. embassy. Uh, ang and reason, ganun pa rin. Same three reasons. No economic ties. Social economic ties. No. And hindi na rin ako tumuloy sa trip ko kasi parang I felt na hmm. unfair naman din na tutuloy na naman ako, siya wala na naman. Though at that time, syempre parang ako, iniisip ko, ba yan, hindi na naman ako makakapunta kasi denied na naman to. Pero nothing personal naman kay, okay, okay. kay husband kasi syempre uncontrollable yung mga decisions ng mga yes. consul. Parang pag binigyan ka na nila ng decision, hindi mo pwedeng i-contest mm-hmm. yan. Diba? So, yan. But, we have a much more beautiful story to share. Fast forward tayo, 2015, nagka-baby na kami. 2017, baby ulit. Ah, 2013, nagka-baby. 2015, baby ulit. Then, nung medyo malaki na yung baby, Oh, toddler na si Kel. Uh, two, uh, pa, two, pa two years old, one and a half years old. So, na invited ulit kami sa US. So, uh, si Uncle Inis, si Uncle Phil invited okay. us to... to Kasama na siya sa vlog uh, namin. Yes, again. <laughs> and, yun. So, this time si Nanay, may visa siya. And we have two kids. So, times three na. Ako and plus two kids. And, difference naman sa... Uh, social economic ties dif- difference din sa work uh, na promote naman ako with that duration and uh, very little investments then again double yung sahod mo <laughs> yan do- double ba Ayan. anyways so ayun prepare na naman kami ng papers makapal na naman ng paper ako na naman nag prepare no ah, para ikaw yeah. nag prepare and I always prepare the document hindi natin nagtas yung fee no still 160 siya dollars. pero nagtas kasi ang dollar exchange, exchange rate. rate so yun mabigat din Nasa so times 50, times 3 di ba nakakahinaya pag ma deny anyways almost 25,000 wala naman wala naman mangyayari pag di mo ito try eh. so 25,000 pesos ayun pikit mata then this time kasama naman namin siya kasi I was may with tod- them. May, may toddler may toddler so Two kailangan na kailangan ng uh, parang one toddler is parang pwedeng may kasama eh kasama na hindi naman niya kaya yung dalawa kasi si Atasha at oh. that time was 3 si Kel was 1 and oh. medyo mahirap yung ganong age as a toddler mas lalo yung Pwede mga anak alam niya yan kailangan ng so yun dalawa nag prepare it kami dami namin papers and and this time, apat, apat na kami na papasok. And I remember, likot pa nun ni... Malikot sila Kelly. pareho. Malikot pareho. Na so, carrier si Kel. And isang maganda dito, since medyo may pila per hour, may bata kami kasama, binigyan kami ng e-pass. 
parang ano, special lane kasi meron kaming kasamang toddler. So, nandoon na agad kami sa harapan. Kinabahan agad kami. Go long. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun. Ako kasi yung visa ko Uh, mag during that time, 2 years na lang mag-expire na siya pero hindi ko ni-risk kasi para sa akin sayang mm. kasi 10 years to bakit ko bakit ako magre-renew agad and in case na naman because may history siya na na-deny siya so gusto ko ingatan din naman yung mm. akin kasi for emergency purposes din kung bakit ako may US visa like may emergency city to feel dito you know, I can easily uh, travel so I decided or we decided na hindi ko na rin i-renew, i-retain ko siya yung current ano ng visa ko. So anyway, when you when we were inside, so nasa harap pa nagat kami. Then pag nasa harap, nasa loob ka pala doon. Medyo since na ako, tatong beses na din, hindi na ako Iba rin siguro pag may kasama ka. Mhm. And ang papalakas ng loob. Nakakaba lang din pag na, kasi maririnig mo doon sa ano eh, sa mga konsul yung decision nila, denied, may visa, kita mo. Pag binalik yung passport, denied ka. Pag kinuha nila yung passport, approved ka. So, nung turn na namin, buhat namin yung mga kids, and kasama yung papers, medyo mahirap. Uh, ano nung tinanong sa atin? Ano? What's your purpose? Or... Catch kasi dito sa... Ano na to, hindi naman siya yung tinanong. Ako yung tinanong. Siguro isa lang tinanong sa or dalawa and then ako na yung tinanong kasi kinuha na yung passport ko. Tinanong yung kinuha yung passport ko. Tapos tiningnan niya, tiningnan ng consul. I remember pa yung ng consul maputi na malapit Sorry. ng makalbo, na medyo mataba. Um, he was actually kind. He was not really that masungit. But when he saw my passport and then when he asked me, uh, bakit ganun ka katagal sa US nung second na punta mo? Kasi the third time, or the second time I, I went here, almost three months ako. So nakataka siya. Bakit ako nandito nang matagal? So anyway, um, yung passport ko, hiningi, tapos tinanong niya the reason why I went here and nung time na yun, dalawang beses na ako nakapunta. And then sinabi ko it was because of training tapos nagtataka siya bakit 3 months yung second na punta ko I think kasi ngayon may annotation yata na pag training nakasulat na training or yung office yung business office address mo or office address mo nandun din yata pero nung time na yun wala namang nilagay so in reality pwede ka talagang mag uh, tourist and then ang dami na niyang tinanong about my uh, stay here. Tataka nga ako kasi parang ako ba yung kumukuha ng visa? Why do I have to do? I did the paperwork. Pati ba naman yung interview? I had to do it. So parang feeling ko nung time na yun, nakasalalay sa akin kung mabibigyan sila ng visa or hindi. So, ako naman tinanong lang sa akin. I want question lang. How long are you working in your company? So yun, sumagot ako. Yeah, so... Yun lang. So I got, binigay ko yung passport ko kasi hiningi niya, then he asked a lot of questions. Sa papers naman, may hiningi. Actually, nung kunwari interview namin ngayon, so the, yesterday, dun ko lang inayos yung birth certificates ng mga bata. Wala kaming um, galing sa NSO. Meron lang akong certified through copy or baka ang dinala ko pa yung original. Kasi niisip ko, baka tanongin kung anong age or baka isipin kung ano yung proof na ang mga anak namin is 3 and 1. So, dinala ko yun. So, nung after akong garahin ng mga questions about my past work, kasi hindi na rin ako employed that time at the same company, at hiningi na nila yung birth certificates ng dalawa. Nabuti na lang, dinala ko. Mm-hmm. And then, siguro nga, just to verify the ages. Mm-hmm. And, um... So, kinapal ka pa ng documents. Yun lang yung tiningnan. Birth certificates. Yeah, birth certificates. And we were really prepared. As in, super... Uh, na ano na namin yung anticipate na namin lahat ng questions kasi based from his experience experience three times na deny based mm-hmm. from my experience and based from the experience of our closest friends and family members na on na on hand parang narinig talaga namin yung story nila and it's not just hearsay so yun yung important hindi hearsay din yung mga narinig namin talagang true to life na story and then after that tinanong ba si Atasha kung bakit pupunta ng states Sinasabi ba siya ng Disneyland or wala naman, no? Wala naman. Wala naman. Kinu-coach lang natin siya na pag tinanong siya, pagpunta siya ng Disneyland. Oo, pero nakaka-ano kasi 
Sobrang gulo ng dalawa. Sobrang gulo ng dalawa habang interview pa nun. Money na natuwa na lang din yung console kasi natuwa na parang sige na nga let's sige get na. over this oo ang gagulo ng anak niya <laughs> and then ayun sinabi na lang niya na um, ano ba just wait in the mail parang ganun kasi nga uh, ang sabi ni Ian kanina dalawa lang yan so sorry sa'yo hindi ka na approve pero pagka hindi binalik ay hindi binalik pero pag hindi binalik sa'yo yung passport mo ang ibig sabihin nun is tatataka na nila ng tourist visa yung sa passport mo a paper, we can show it to you, and they will send it to the address that you uh, place on the mailing address. So, okay. so yun and difference. So, four times ako nag-apply. In tatlo, married na kami pero wala pang babies. Tas, and yung fourth, meron na kami babies. I think yung kids yung nag pa-approve dun sa console. Yeah, and stable. And ganun ano, pa rin naman. Wala, stable work din kasi for Ian. Kasi ah, ganun nung, pa rin yung bank account namin. Walang masyadong laman. Yung time na yun, parang ilan years ka na sa Semicon company? 13 years. 13 years ba nung uh, time na yun? So, tama lang pampamasahin pera namin. And wala kaming daan-daan liba sa account. Later, we'll discuss some tips on how to get the USB. Yeah, thanks for listening to our story. Okay, Bye, later, family. Later.